Hey, what's up? It's Frank here from datadriven.tv, the podcast where we explore the emerging fields of machine learning, data science, data engineering, and artificial intelligence. If you've been reading my blog, uh, you'll know that I'm a big fan of Siraj Raval. I'm one of the deans of his uh, School of AI, and um, I also repost a lot of his content because, quite frankly, it's great stuff. If you've also been following kind of the controversy around him, he's been accused and caught of plagiarism. Plagiarism, for one, is wrong. However, um, I'm seeing a lot of people just coming out of, I don't know, like sharks, you know, they smell blood in the water and they, they, they see a way they can just kind of like pile onto this guy. He made mistakes. He did. And I'm not justifying his mistakes. I am, however, calling out two things. One, people who just dogpile on this guy, not familiar with his work, or only tangentially familiar with his work. Uh, I don't know what his intentions were. Um, I don't know what his intentions were, right? I mean, I, I, I've interacted with him, uh, but I'm not exactly, you know, we don't hang out. <laughs> he, he, he's responded to messages I've sent. We, we've, we've spoken on uh, a group web call with the deans, um, you know, and he, he responds to some of the stuff on, our, on the internal Slack channel. So I'm not pretending I'm like, I know exactly what's going through his head. I don't. I don't know what's going on, honestly, in other people's heads. If I knew what was going on through other people's heads, I'd be working the tables in Vegas, okay? So with that out of the way, I don't know what his intentions were. But I will say this in defense of him. Um, he is one of the few people that made data science uh, and AI approachable. Now, now hear me out. Now today, it's 2019. Everybody and their cousin and their dog and, 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 and the fleas on their dogs offer some kind of AI data science training, right? Three years ago, that was not the case. There was not a lot of good quality material on YouTube available for free uh, that was geared towards anyone but a, uh, the academic audience, right? I'll just say it right now. That was very rare back then. And he was one of the few voices to come out and not just make it more uh, approachable to software engineers or just regular kind of IT computer types. He made it fun. He made it funny. He, he did a lot with the uh, music videos and parodies and stuff. He made it fun. And I think that uh, there's a lot of people, um, every time I see him post something now online, like a whole bunch of people in YouTube comments, just like piranha. Like you just throw in like a raw steak and like they just go after it, right? Again, I don't know what his intentions were, but I don't think he deserves it. So my... And the reason why I'm recording this is because I want to stand up for the guy because the guy helped me immensely learn this field. He's done a lot of good, right? The school of AI, right? Uh, if you look at the map of where that is, I mean, that, that, there are chapters and places that ordinary, uh, ordinarily don't get access to really decent training material. He single-handedly started a, a community movement across the world. Right? Not just in the United States, not just in Western Europe, not just in Asia, but I mean in rural Africa, there are chapters of the School of AI. I, I honestly don't know how, how, how active they are, but I do know that uh, if you look at where they are on the map, there's a lot more people studying AI and getting into this field than I think had he not been an inspiration, would not be doing it today or would not be learning it today. Now, obviously, I don't know where he goes from here, but, you know, for all the people that are posting negative stuff about him, let, you know, dial it back, okay? <laughs> um, and before you write me hate mail, I'm not saying this to justify plagiarism. Plagiarism is wrong, right? Um, I had that instilled with me. Uh, I went to Jesuit High School, Jesuit College. They literally put the fear of God of plagiarism into me. So I'm not justifying that at all, but I'm just saying that um, he has been an inspiration for a lot of people in places that ordinarily would not have been inspired. And it's easy to, 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 to look at with 2019 eyes, how, how, how wide, with widespread AI and machine learning courseware. But when he started, there was not a lot of it, right? And I say this because he helped me learn concepts. He helped me uh, with that. So 
I, I would say everybody should just dial it back. I'm also pointing this out because there's a lot of stuff on my blog that point to his um, his content and some of them are the ones that he, he got in controversy of. So I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about what I'm going to do with it. I'm probably going to leave it there, but I wanted to I wanted to at least go on the record personally uh, of why he uh, of why I'm keeping that stuff up there, and uh, because he, he his material right. Um, even if it's not 100% original, did inspire a lot of people. Now, is he wrong for not calling out the credits and things like that? Yeah, he clearly is. What his intentions were, I don't know. But I will say, before we nail him to the wall, remember that he was an inspiration for a lot of people, and he can still be an inspiration for a lot of people. There's a lot of people, I think, that are going to be uh, starting companies based on the work that he made more famous, Let's just put it that way. How's that for diplomatic? But, uh, you know, it really annoys me whenever I see him post on LinkedIn or Twitter that people just dogpile on this guy. And it's just, he may be guilty, but he's getting a lot more guff than he deserves. So with that, I just want to get it off my chest because I, I still have respect for him, maybe a bit less than I did a few weeks ago, but I still respect him because he changed people's lives. He inspired people. Could he have made better decisions? Absolutely. But with that, I just want to say his stuff is still good, at least in terms of getting the message out. Um, I know there's other things that have kind of come out that have been well, less than ideal, but I'm going to keep this stuff up there because he inspired me. He's inspired other people. He's inspired people in places that ordinarily have been left out of the Internet, let out, left out of the technology revolution. So you know, I'm going to say net-net. I think his, his presence in the world, his activity – has been uh, a net positive. And controversy aside, I still subscribe to him. I'll still even repost stuff. But before I reposted anything, I want to get this off my chest. So with that, you have a great day.